but look how easy it is to swap colors. You do not need to waste time unscrewing this thing. back to the channel guys it's it's been a hot minute since my last video i got another light sent to me and i want to show this light to you guys and tell you what i think about it and talk about the price and everything um how you like my little ambiance behind me <laughs> so i'm in my wood shop i don't have an office to make videos out of so i try to do the best i can out of here i did find some red stag antlers this uh last spring i found them so those are pretty cool here is the ode pro kl 62 plus this is the box it comes in, inside of a, you know, a bigger box, obviously, when they ship it to you. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like in here. It comes in bubble wrap and a nice case. It has a lot of specifications on the back. I like the logo or the, uh, the um, picture that they put on the front with the model number and everything. Uh, so good job on the case. I like that. Now, I'm going to kind of compare this to, I like to compare flashlights, especially in the same price point. Uh, this isn't a very similar price point to the Lumen Shooter A10 because um, like a lot of you, I, I've done a lot of research on these lights, trying to find the best varmint light I can find, you know, for a cheaper price. You have your, your sniper hogs, your wicked lights. Those are high powered, high dollar lights, you know, in the 300 plus range sometimes, uh, somewhere in the 200 range. But, you know, for something between 100 and 140, that's what this, you know, category this falls in. So I like to compare the flashlights that are in that category. It's a very similar size. Um, the weight is about the same as the A10. <clears throat> I'm gonna, we're going to go in a little more detail about this, but here's the what the light looks like. Here's your switch between your, your different colors. Your switch in the back is, oh, I like, I like that. Okay, cool. Um, so again, here's what the case looks like. Here's your your mount. So this is the plastic mount that comes with these things. They work great. They're, you know, very basic, but they work good. Ooh, we got a Picatinny setup, okay? This is my favorite. This is what I usually choose to use. Um, I'm not going to take it out of the bag right now, but you can see it. It's got the quick connect on here. You, you mount this to your light, screw it in. And you can take it on and off of your scope much easier and much faster. You got your battery charger and your power source. You got two batteries that come with it. And they also come with a sensitive. If you don't know what this is already, you put that on the back of the flashlight. You can mount this on your rifle. And instead of hitting the back of the flashlight on, you know, when it's on the scope, you just hit these buttons here and they'll turn the light on for you. Now let me talk a little bit more in depth about the light itself. Okay, so again, here's your switch of the colors. The benefit to this is, uh, and again, I'm going to compare this to the Lumen Shooter. Uh, the Lumen Shooter, you have to change the lens. So you have to unscrew it, change the lens. This is awesome. This feature is awesome. You don't have to break it down and change the lens. They don't have to give you the extra lenses in the case. It's all built in here. Um, the zoom, okay. The zoom, zooms right here. The that's one of the things I wasn't a huge fan of the A, the A10 is a great light. I'm not downgrading the A10, but compared to this, on my when I mount mine, I mount it here, and I want to be able to adjust the zoom right here. Okay, the A10, you had to uh, zoom it right here. Wasn't a huge fan of that, but the light is still a great light. Um, so let me go ahead and put a battery in here and let's uh, let's fire it up real quick. Okay, so it has a little green light on the back that shows it's powered. Okay, I just learned a new feature. That's kind of cool. The power switch here is also a dimmer. There's bright. There's dim. Here's your zooming. Get down nice and tight. Let's brighten it up. Look at that. It's like a little fireball. That's kind of cool. So again, we're going to field test this tonight and I'll show you. But look how easy it is 
to swap colors. You do not need to waste time unscrewing this thing. Okay, guys, we're out here for the outside portion. Uh, my son is going to hold the phone for me while I try to operate this thing. It shows up a little pink through the camera, but I promise you it is very bright red like a normal varmint light. Um, let's look at the green. There's the white and there's the green. So that kind of shows up pretty cool on camera. Okay, so there is a tree line that is about uh, 120 yards away. I can see it with my own eyes. The camera might not pick it up, but we'll see if it picks up the light hitting the trees. So go ahead and follow my light, Tanyan, right there. Look for a little higher. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. Let's see if we can hit that tree line. Okay, I am on the tree line there, and you can see it clear as day. That box that you see in the camera is the tree line. So there's the ground, there's the tree line, and that is over 100 yards away. So that's pretty cool for this light. Now, the further I pan to the left, the tree line gets further. So follow the, the light tanyan in the center. Keep it, there you go. We're going to go, and we're going to see how far. That's probably 150 yards right there. Can you still see it? Yes. Yep. Okay. You can still see it 150 yards. When we first got out here, we looked. There were some deer out there. The eyes were showing up very bright. So that's kind of cool. Let's switch colors to the green. The green kind of shows up a little better on camera. The, again, that's about 120 yards. I could see eyes very easily at 150. This is probably pushing 200 right there. And it is still showing up on camera. So... Um, absolutely this is passing the test as far as how far you can see I'm gonna compare it to uh, the the lumen shooter a10 that I did last year the light itself power wise is probably very similar I might give this a slight edge power wise um, it doesn't go as tight as the lumen shooter 10 does but I don't need it to go that tight I don't like taking it down to that tiny little box that it'll go to uh, because you, you really limit the eyes that you can see at a far distance so but it still goes very tight, perfectly fine. Um, again, the pros to this, I like where it zooms. I like that it zooms here and not here. Um, it's built, ver it has the same finish that all the other lights do. Um, it's very lightweight, so it's not gonna add a lot of weight on top of your rifle. I love this option. This is the best part about it. Um, I love the sensitivity knob in the back, um, the power. Um, I'm just o overall extremely happy with this. Now, um, what I want to say to you is the Lumen Shooter, uh, on Amazon is retailing for one, 106, I believe, 106.99, something like that. Uh, this is 139.95. For the money, I would absolutely spend the extra 30, 30 dollars and a couple, you know, 33 or 34 dollars, uh, for this light. Um, this alone is a huge benefit. Uh, the dimmer back here is a huge benefit. And the way it zooms is a huge benefit. So um, these two lights are very similar to me in quality. That's why I like to compare uh, Odepro, Odepro, everybody says it differently, and the Lumen Shooter. Um, very similar lights, but I'm extremely happy with this light. I think it's an excellent product. I think you'll like it. Um, it, please, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them. I'm really good at answering questions on all of my videos. Um, and uh, I'm going to enjoy using this here in a couple weeks uh, when I do a varmint hunt. So um, this will go on my rifle. And then I have a sniper hog light that I use. It's much stronger. And I put that on the, you know, on a hand grip. And I kind of hit the field like that. When I see something, boom, I turn this on and uh, look through my scope and hopefully get it. So, uh, thank you for watching another video. Um, I think you'll definitely enjoy this product and you'll like it if you get it yourself. So have a great uh, day and uh, happy hunting.